Okay, so we can't board without talking to Bamwick. <clears throat> hey, Eisen, is there uh, anything we can do about the Prince's Hawk? Griffin, I mean, every day it goes out on these hunts or whatever and brings back the weirdest stuff. It's making a real mess out of the deck. Uh. Hawks hunt. <clears throat> deal. Well, yeah. At first, it was bringing back good stuff like seaweed and fish, things we could cook with. Sure, I was glad for a while. But then it started to escalate. Now we're talking 150 kilo amber camps and 350 kilo killer swordfish that it's catching. That's not a bad thing, is it? It just means more to eat. It is when they're being dropped from the sky onto the deck. Especially those killer swordfish and razor sharp bills. What if somebody gets run through by one? Uh -huh. Can't you just warn the prince that his bird needs to be more careful? Yeah, we could, but he looks so happy watching his hawk. I hate to spoil it for him. Yeah, the prince looks so happy <laughs> Griffin is flying free. He kept grinning and asking Grocky all nice like if he wanted to fly some more. Grocky? That's what Kamoana kept calling Griffin. She says she came up with it by combining Griffin and Hawk. <sighs> this is probably the first time in the prince's life that he's tasted any freedom. His whole life he's only done what duty dictated of him. Letting Griffin fly was his first free act. To the prince, Grocky is an extension of who he is. So what are we going to do? Nothing, really. It's not like it really hurt anybody. But it's punctured some major holes on the deck! I'm sure even the prince knows when to rein it in. Let him have a little fun. Deserves it. I don't know about all that. <clears throat> I'd say the prince is letting his newfound freedom get the better of him. Hey, I was just up on deck and it looks like Griffin's caught an elephant tuna this time. Uh. An elephant tuna? That's the really big tuna that can swallow a killer whale whole, right? That almost sounds like a demon to me. Yep, huge fish, gills like elephant ears. I saw it myself. From the looks of it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a demon. It's crazy valuable. On a good day, it can fetch 20 million gold on the market. But there's something ominous about seeing it hovering in the air above the ship. 20 million gold? I take back everything I said. The Prince and Griffin can do whatever they want. <laughs> above the ship? Oh, hell. Benwick, we need to stop Prince Percival. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, please don't destroy the ship. <clears throat> okay, so now we can choose where we want to go. So, I wanted to... That's assault we need. Okay, so I guess that northern spot is not... Oh, wait, yeah, we burned it, didn't we? <clears throat> so probably can't go there. Okay. Um, I think Aberrant is the first one that came up. Beast is the second one. Crustacean is a new one. So let's try out this Aberrant Take a look around before we go for the obvious. <clears throat> Cat's chest. How much is that going to cost? Uh, One fifteen. Hey, I can do that. much here. I'm sure there's going to be some big fight up here, though. 
Oh yeah. Is that a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look, there's something spewing out of the middle. I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, 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 my you. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. Don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. Hello. Here you can battle waves of specific types of demon. Summon to call to the arena and commence battle. After a certain amount, the battle is over when all have been completely wiped out. Return to your original pre-battle status. Make sure to prepare thoroughly before stepping up. Okay. Well, go to the chat. I'll finish this quickly. I missed with that one. Clear. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Wow. Lots of stuff. I mean, I didn't expect with that many demons. Virtuoso's Ventite. Perform different arts by pressing attack while guarding. Looks like we won't be joining the party. 
the series <coughs> places the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey is keeping Way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. Indeed. Most everything we've fought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, we should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. Alright. <clears throat> uh, well, next, let's go... Since I saw an exclamation mark down here... Let's go to Port Cadmus. Which, of course, is going to be really slow. Our scout ship has returned. Sorry about the slowness. I don't know what's causing it. I even cleaned up my computer recently. Ghost ship's anchor. A Martian subcontinent. Mistress's support. Uh, required level 10. Perfect. Ship setting sail. The exploration of the outer seas is going super well. Yeah. It's all thanks to you guys chipping in. <clears throat> oh, we haven't done all that much. Well, don't rest on your laurels just yet. Worse things happen at sea, you know. The scouting ship could always get eaten by some giant tentacled horror from the deeps. <laughs> Danger's a part of the job. Besides, Eifried's pirates are all about venturing into the unknown. I wonder what's still hidden out there for us to find. Terror Island, for one thing. <laughs> According to ancient legends, it's an island that moves across the outer seas like a ship. Hmm. Really? I've never heard of an island like that. Nobody knows if it's real or not, which is exactly why we have to try and find it ourselves. Awesome! I can't wait to get to the bottom of this! Don't get too excited just yet, kiddo. It's good to have enthusiasm and all, but I bet this place is called Terror Island for a reason. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Like Eisen said, challenging the unknown is what Eifried's pirates do. No matter what the risk. <sighs> Looks, like Looks like you've cut, cut the bug too. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure there's nothing more than the Evolg ruins. Oh, new request. Rainbow Rock, Aldina Plains. Serial Killer Tree, Deval Forest. Hmm. Let's see, how many coins do I have? 588. I could get one thing. Noise canceling, elf ears. <coughs> Single flare plug set? What does that mean? Oh, there's some other stuff. Denar, enough. Okay. Mm. Well, let's uh, go for that. Make sure that that went through. Item. Yep, okay.
Oh, that got refilled. Uh, da -da -da. So, <clears throat> there we go. This way. Mantle Amphibily Blade Floric Blade Floric Doll Amphibily Spear Floric Spear Accessories. Belfagor, Floric, Calcite. Three thorny calcite, three waistcoat, amber natural amphiboly. One, two, three calcite, silky amber. Okay. <clears throat> Earth, fire, resistance. Okay, shoes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <coughs> All right. Oh. Okay, boosted boxer. Souls. Oh, there's a cat's chest that I missed. 110. Darn.
Okay, so let's see if we can figure out Long Dao's dust to make Omega Elixir. Okay. And it's... Oh, way down at Kuragani's workshop. Okay. <clears throat> so, I need to go to the Tunnel Depths, which is... I don't think I have a shortcut over there right now, so... Wait. Um, is there... Where's our warp points? I can't see them on here. Yep, can't take the shortcut there, so I have to take the long way around. Straight over here. Okay, then we want to go for the far one over here. Okay, then the tunnel depths are down to the right here. Take the left path and then straight through. Do, do. through. And 
that gets us enough for the cat's chest. <clears throat> Open this chest now. Warren Spear. This must be Long Dow's dust. The ingredient the Dell's Omega Elixir recipe calls for. I can't believe you actually found it. <coughs> have to go tell the Dell. Maybe he's been able to translate the rest of the list. Yeah. So that gives us another place to go. Mellow fluid. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Uh, return to Port Cadnix. Slow down. <coughs> yes. Wow! White bunny ears. Excuse me. Ugh, boy. Oh wait, that's an herb, isn't it? No, it's not shining like an herb would. <clears throat> whoa, whoa! Oh, I never did go in the inn here. Oh, that's a bunny, not a cat. <laughs> First I thought it was a cat. Ah, here it was over here. That is Renied. Renied Ducks. 